In today's video, I am going to be cutting my hair from very, very long to sort of a medium short. If you're interested in not only cutting your own hair at home, but coloring, I will show you how I'm going to do that in today's video. I've had long hair for a really long time, and I thought it was time for a change. So let's go ahead and get to it. So as you guys can see, my hair is all the way down to the tops of my hips. When I have it straight, it touches my butt, and it's been this way for a while. Um, I've been growing my hair out for a long, long time because anytime I went to a salon, they just jacked me up. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm never cutting my hair again. I'm just gonna grow it out. But uh, it's time. I've been seeing a lot of inspiration, and I'm thinking about going like here. I know that's super short, but it's just so cute on everybody else, so I figured I'd try it. The tools I have with me today, some hair cutting scissors, I got these for $10 from Sally's, and then I also have hair dye. Um, I use the Color Charm by the brand Wella, and I also have toner, but I think I'll use that on a different day. I also have some teeny tiny little rubber elastics, because I'm just going to put my hair in a ponytail and cut it. So. Let's, let's do this. I'm going to start by splitting my hair down the center and just split my hair down the center. Yep. And I made sure my hair was brushed out before all this. So, so you guys know what I'm working with. This is the before. Um, I'm not in love with the color either. All the way down here. So I got some more um, neutral toned brown. I'm going to take my elastic band and I watched a YouTube video that told me to put my hair in a ponytail. And then where you actually want to cut it. So, I don't know, let's say I want to cut it, maybe, let's start, let's start normal, okay? Or maybe should we just go all the way? I'm going to start with about 10 inches. I'm going to take my elastic and tie off those 10 inches. So I'm just going to take my scissors. and see where we're at and then I'll go from there. I do want it to be straight across which is why I'm using the ponytail method. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I saw the video I watch uh, recommend to straighten the hair. Oh my goodness, it feels so thick. Oh. <laughs> okay. The video that I watched recommended you straighten your hair so that you can get like a more precise cut. So I'm gonna heat up my straightening iron and be back with my hair straight. So here I am, I have my hair straightened. I'm gonna put my hair back in the elastic uh, a little bit more tightly this time, I think. Tuck it behind the ears. Go back. Look how cute my little ponytail is. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do that. A super low ponytail. Okay. And then I'm gonna take another elastic and do literally the same exact thing, but a little bit shorter. So, mm, like an inch maybe, inch or two. 
just to give myself an idea of what I want to go a little bit just like we did before okay see what we got going on here so putting it in the ponytail is what's gonna create like a weird um, shorter in the back, longer in the front situation, which I'm okay with. Um, in the Air Force, though, there is a specific rule. If you do a shorter in the back and longer in the front, the difference can't be more than an inch. So this actually might not be the most in regs thing. So at this point, let's see. I think from now, I'm gonna just sort of clean it up with these scissors. I don't wanna put it back in the ponytail because it's gonna get me these jagged edges here, which is fine um, for the like the majority of it, but I want to smooth it all out. As you can see, it's super uneven, which like I said, is fine. I do want to go with that middle length and uh, work it. So now that my hair is cut to the general length that I want, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my scissors and just sort of trim everything. I do enjoy how it looks being slightly longer in the front, but I don't want it to be so dramatic. As you saw in the back, it looks sort of weird. So I'm just going to attempt to clean this up. I feel like Kim K, but like if Kim K is a 10, I'm like a two. So now I'm going to take my scissors and chop vertically, that way it's not so harsh and blunt. Because of the way I cut it, it's got like miscellaneous edges that don't match up. So I'm just going to do this to make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I am just really just roughing up the edges in order to make them blend a little bit better because the blunt cut just is not going to happen on my own. I'm not skilled enough to do a straight across blunt cut and clean, so these edges over here are looking already much more blended than over here. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is super short now. I did the vertical chop on most of it, so it's pretty even. My hair is naturally wavy, so honestly, it's fine because it's not going to be straight, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this ponytail, take some Vaseline, and apply it to the skin around my hairline because I'm going to dye my hair. Why not? So I'm just going to slather it all on my face, like all up underneath the baby hairs, over by the ears. Okay, I'm going to take my earrings. Take off any jewelry you have before you dye your hair because you might ruin it. I have a plastic hair bowl and brush here, although because my hair is so short now, I'll probably just be able to glop it on with a pair of gloves that I also have, which I recommend because you don't want to stain your skin. I'm going to do one little tube for now because I don't know how much I'm going to actually need. Sometimes it takes two, it used to with my long hair, but I'm going to just mix together this tube with two parts um, activator or whatever it's called. Oh, it's called developer, not activator. This is a 20 volume sensitive developer. <laughs> this always makes my head itch. So if you have one that's better, then I am all for it. I purchased the shade 4A237 medium ash brown. I usually get light brown, which is a neutral, but that still was showing up super red. So hopefully this one works out better. I'm just gonna stir it out again. Um, portion my hair into two uh, so that I can do one, at, one level at one layer at a time. So I'm just going to hold this mirror behind my head and well, I was going to, but let's just go for it, okay? I'm just...
I'm really happy I'm dyeing my hair right now because I feel like I usually change my hair when I'm going through something emotionally traumatic and the fact that I'm doing it when I just literally want to and not because I feel like I need to is really great. So at this point, my camera has died, but I continue to apply the dye. It is all over my neck, so that's not going well. And as you can see, it's also on my eyebrows. So <laughs> I've never been more attractive. <laughs> I'm going to go wash it off really quickly because it is super dark, like slightly terrifyingly dark. So I'm going to go do that while my hair just sort of chills in the background. And I will be back to show you how it looks after the shower. Wish me luck. Okay, I threw on some lipstick to see how it looked. I kind of curled my hair, but it fell out because I just blow dried it and washed it. But, uh, it's dry for the most part. <laughs> it's so dark. I like it. I am into it. Sorry I'm whispering my my roommate's asleep. I feel I feel good about this decision. I'm definitely gonna rock a lot of like half up and down because I think that's super cute. But uh sorry, I need to stop looking myself. This is the final look. I mean, I'm sure the hair dye will fade a little bit when I wash it out. Um, I'm definitely going to keep experimenting how it looks when I curl it better than this. Um, but overall, it's a drastic change, yes. But I feel like it's nice. <laughs> I know that this video was all over the place, so apologize for that because it probably wasn't that helpful but here we are I hope you enjoyed it um, I did stream this live on Twitch so if you don't follow me on Twitch I recommend that because that's the platform I use to just sort of hang out with you guys and do like of course the live streams and back and forth conversations so there's that username Alora Jean and then my other social medias everything is down in the description below I'll also put the hair dye products that I used although I will say this is definitely not medium ash brown get out of here this is almost black but it's okay because it's about to be fall it's about to be winter so me and my tiny little ponytail <laughs> we will survive <laughs> all right thanks for watching and i wish you luck if you're cutting your hair because that was a struggle all right i will see you guys all in the next video bye